let's calculate some wages. Jill earns $8.20 an hour. She's paid time and a half for any overtime hours she worked. How much will she make if she works four and a half hours of overtime? Let's start by calculating what her overtime rate of pay is. To find that, we're going to take her regular rate of pay, which is $8.20. We're going to pay her time and a half. That's 1.5. When I multiply those out, she gets paid $12.30 an hour. All right. Well, she worked four and a half hours of overtime. So how much did she make in overtime pay? 4.5 hours times $12.30 an hour. So that four and a half hours, she made $55.35. Let's do another example here. Billy's regular rate of pay is $8.50 per hour. He's paid time and a half for every hour he works over 40 hours. In a given week, of course. Find his gross earnings for the week if he worked the following number of hours. A couple things we need to pay attention to here. Regular rate of pay, $8.50 an hour. Time and a half for every hour over 40 hours. The question asks to find his gross earnings. Let's figure out how many hours he worked. And then we'll see if he worked over his 40 hours. And if he did, he gets overtime. We have a mix of decimals and fractions. This works better if everything's in decimals, so I'm gonna convert everything to decimals. And to figure out his total hours, I'm going to take all of these and add them together. He works 48.75 hours. That's more than 40 hours, that's going to be overtime. Let's figure out how many overtime hours. We've got a grand total of 48.75 hours. And for him, regular time is 40 hours. I'm gonna take those 40 hours off. What I'm left with is 8.75 hours. And that right there is his overtime. Now that we know he works overtime hours, we should figure out what his overtime rate of pay is. Now his regular pay, $8.50 per hour. And when he works overtime, he gets time and a half. Time and a half is 1.5. So I'm taking the $8.50 an hour, times it by 1.5. That makes it $12.75 an hour. Now, because he's got two different rates of pays, one for regular time and one for overtime, we're going to have to split up his gross pay calculations into two parts. We'll do the regular, then we'll do the overtime, and then add them together. For his regular earnings, he gets paid $8.50 per hour. He worked 40 hours of regular time. Don't count in the overtime. That we're going to deal with separate. Only the first 40 hours he worked. $8.50 times 40 hours. He makes $340 for his regular time and for his overtime earnings. He earns $12.75 an hour. And he worked 8.75 hours of overtime. Multiply those two together and he earns $111.56. Finished off by calculating his gross pay. I'm going to add these two numbers together, his regular earnings and his overtime earnings. When I do that, I get, when I do that, I get $451.56. That's Billy's gross earnings for the week. Last example question. Ken Tucky normally works 15 hours a week at the chicken shack. His manager asks him to work six hours on Canada Day. If his hourly rate is $8.10 an hour and he is paid double time for working on the holiday, calculate his gross weekly pay. This one's a special case. Ken Tucky hasn't gone past his 40 regular hours, but it doesn't matter. He's working on Canada Day, a government set statutory holiday. For that time, he earns double time. And he earns that for six hours. Other pieces we need from there, normally he's got 15 hours a week and his hourly rate is $8.10. And we wanna know what is his gross weekly pay. I'm gonna start by calculating what his overtime rate of pay is. So if his regular rate is $8.10 an hour, and then he gets paid double time, that's times by two, his double time rate, his overtime rate is $16.20 an hour. I'm going to come back for that. I'm going to need it. Well, let's start figuring out his gross weekly pay for this week. Starting with our regular time. He gets paid $8.10 an hour regular time. And he works 15 hours that week. Which leaves Ken with $121.50 regular pay. His overtime pay? When he works double time, 
He gets paid $16.20 an hour, and he worked six hours, which helps him earn $97.20. Add those two together, and you get your gross weekly pay. So Ken earns $218.70. And remember, I like to call it gross pay because that's what you earn before taxes and deductions, and it's kind of gross how much gets taken off. <laughs> 